Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Who's Views. And this is Who's Master. You are very welcome to our brand new show. I am not alone. Oh, no. As if I could do these sorts of things alone. Joining me tonight as... Let's, let's, let's give him this title here. This might give you a clue as to what this is. As the keeper of the scores, let's bring in Bedwia. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, JT. And you have a fabulous keeper of the scores type jacket there. I do. This is my uh, official officials London 2012 uh, blazer as made by uh, retail brand in the UK next and has sat in my closet for about uh, 10 years. So it's nice to break it out for a appropriate occasion. It is an appropriate. I couldn't decide whether or not it was there. It was that what you were just saying there, or it's cosplaying as Turlo. Either works. Either works for the show. Isn't it? Now, listen, I'm excited. Are you excited about this new show? I'm very excited. This is going to be a lot of fun. I hope so. Fingers crossed this is going to be a lot of fun. <laughs> yes, because what we are offering you here on this particular show, who viewers, it's a quiz. Absolutely. It's a quiz. And we're very, very excited to do this. And hopefully you're going to like this. You're going to have to let us know what you think of this in the comments, which are down below or to the side. I've noticed on some people's YouTube pages, because this is that time where we pitch people against each other for fun. <laughs> is that absolutely right? So, Bedwia, who's joining us on Who's Master today? So, for the inaugural episode of Who's Master... Ooh, look, he's with the big words. There we go. Uh, we have Kirsty and Third Doctor Ian from the Hootastic panel. Yay! Round of applause, round of applause, round of applause. Yes, please welcome everybody, our first two Victor contestants for... <laughs> Who's master? <laughs> I are both nice to see you. Thank you so much for joining us for this. Thank you for having us. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah. How are you both then? You're right. Ready yeah, to chew rumble. Me chew me nails. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What's going to be happening now then is we have our panelists, we have our keeper of the scores. Let's go through what we've put together for you here on Who's Master. Each of our contestants <laughs> will be getting 15 questions to answer. Oh, yes, they will. There are points available. And what do points make? Well, nothing, actually, on this particular edition of the show. Absolutely nothing, because it's all just for fun. Just for fun. But each each question has a point, which is why uh, Bedwia is here as the keeper of the scores, to make sure that um, he, he's going he's to be doing the maths. There he is there with all his high-tech equipment. But he's going to be totting it all up for us. How it works is this. Each question is worth two points apart from several. Now, we've got one AI round, which is worth five points, everybody. Now, on that round, you have the ability there to look at a Doctor Who story, which is presented through the current form of AI. You can ask for clues, but for each clue you ask, the point will go down. OK. It's as clear as mud, isn't it? You'll get the hang of it. You will get the hang of it. You also get a bonus themed question. And that's where we're going to come to now. Before we started the show here, we did actually flip a coin. Ian, third Doctor Ian, won the toss. And he's delight decided to go second. Coward. <laughs> he's also out of the two selections of questions he's chosen uh, selection one so Kirsty will be getting quiz selection two 40 points for both of them on offer here forgot to say that there are 40 points on offer and of course whoever uh, wins is the one with the most points Ian you did go you did get the, the, the toss you have chosen to go second but you do also, because of that, get to choose your bonus themed questions. So you can choose from the Time Lords of Gallifrey or Captain, my Captain. Time Lords of Gallifrey. Ian's going for the Time Lords of Gallifrey, which means that Kirsty, like it or not, you're getting Captain, my Captain. <laughs> so... What's going to happen now is Bedwia will go backstage to start totting up all the scores. Ian's going to go um, backstage and watch the show. And as for Kirsty and I, we're going to start and we're going to play the first round. <laughs> Look at her, the first round <laughs> of Who's Master. Are you ready? 
<laughs> oh, listen, Kirsty, thanks for coming on. Uh, listen, you're going to be known to a lot of people, of course, for being here on Who's Views as a Hootastic panel member. But for those new to the show, and those of uh, people who are watching for the first time, tell us a little bit about yourself. Oh, I'm the baby of the group. I came in from the new new who era so i'm still in the process of my padawan education of classic who uh, but I usually find me in the chat and giving my opinions uh and being the riot of the group so yeah and yeah. i just everything nerdy so yeah. <laughs> yeah tell us about some of the other stuff that you like because it's not just doctor who that you've, you've you've come into is it there's other stuff you like I'm a massive Marvel and um, comics fan. I do dabble in a bit of DC as well, but I'm a bit of a Marvel girl. I uh, grew up with Star Wars, and I also, my job is involving Harry Potter as well. So I am just an all around lovely nerd. And, th and that's what we love about you. I mean, I, I, I was so impressed when we met that you were a big Harry Potter fan, because I am as well. We love Harry Potter, don't we? And if anybody is watching from uh, Warner Brothers HBO, Kirsty and I are both available for work. So um, <laughs> let us know, because we'll do anything to get into those series, won't we, kid? <laughs> I'd, 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 be a, I'd play anything for, for them, I tell you. Put me in any sort of latex, I'm quite happy. I'd be a troll. <laughs> 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 All right then, Chris. So what we're going to do here, we're going to start playing Who's Master. As I say, you have 15 questions, okay? Um, you have your bonus theme questions as well, which are worth three points. I'll keep you right with the points as we're going on. But, of course, Bedwear is behind the scenes with uh, the keeper of the scores, totting it all up. Good luck. Breathe. Just relax. Enjoy. It's all for fun, okay? It's all for fun. Are you ready? Yep. All right, then. So let's go then with the first question here on Who's Master. In Power of the Daleks, Kirsty, how does the Doctor describe the regeneration process? And that's for two points. I don't know. I've done a good start. Painful, no, no. painful and fabulous. <laughs> painful and fabulous. Good answer. No, <laughs> that's not the answer. <laughs> he actually describes it, Kirsty, as a renewal. Lovely. Yes, there you go. You have to bear in mind that Kirsty is new to a lot of this stuff, so this is going to be testing her knowledge. She will be, after this, going to research everything <laughs> to find out what's going on. Okay, here's another one for you for two points. Sil, the mentor, comes from which planet? So which planet does Sil come from? Do you remember Sil? <laughs> Him. Have a think. Have a think. Which planet does Sill come from? <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. I'll go, I'll let you know. It's it's um it's actually Thorus Beta. There you go. You've learned something there. Thoros Peter. Okay, for three points, you're going to get now um, a bonus theme question. And uh, your, your bonus theme is Captain My Captain. So in remembrance of the Daleks for three points, the doctor works with the army. But what was the name of the captain? Jack Sparrow, I don't know. <laughs> Jack Sparrow, you can tell she's a, a geeky cat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice try, but no, it wasn't, strangely. <laughs> it was actually Gilmore is the answer to that. That's the name of that. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Um, <laughs> this is the way to cut the pressure for falling who viewers as well. <laughs> so there we go. Yeah, but it is all for fun. It's all for fun. Get one right. I, I do actually watch Doctor Who. <laughs> 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 All right, we're going to move on to another two point question here. Let's keep Bedwia uh, really, really busy here. Right, we've got a <laughs> two point question coming up for you. All right, so during the war between the Vogans and the Cybermen, what weapon do the Vogans use? You can have a think. 
Um, I'll give you a clue as well. This uh, uh, Revenge of the Cybermen, where it was, it's noted in here, of course. This is Revenge of the Cybermen. But during the war between the Vogans and the Cybermen, what weapon do the Vogans use for two points? Cyber blaster? So what did you say there? Cyber blasters? No, it's not. It's not. Unfortunately, it was. It was. Uh, it was the glitter gun. Oh, I need that. Yeah, but of course you didn't we... know that. <laughs> it's in there somewhere. <laughs> I knew you knew that one. Okay, we're moving on now for another uh, two points, Kirsty. And this is the picture round. This is the picture round for you as well. I want you to look at this, and I want you to tell me where is this. Somewhere in England. Yes. Can you narrow it down? <laughs> She's cheeky. She's very cheeky. Um, I'll, I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'll, I'll, you know this. You do know this because you've seen it. So where is this? Cambridge, Shada. Oh, well done. Round of applause, everybody, for Kirsty. Well done. Yes, of course, it's Cambridge. And it was featured in Sharda and the Five Doctors. Take which one as you want it to be. But there you go. That's two points. Well done. You've lost your cherry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, then now we're coming to another bonus themed question. And your bonus screen question based on Captain My Captain. Captain Yates was the first screened unit regular captain. But who were the previous captains? who served under the Brigadier. Have a think. Yeah, do you want the question again? Captain Yates yeah. was the first screened unit regular, but who were the previous captains who served under the Brig? Now, you know that you do know this one. You do know this one. I know you know this one. We can do this as an art of interpretive dance, but is it the people in the Three Doctors, the we the junior guy that the second doctor is like oh hello and he's like oh I don't know the name but i can tell you the scene <laughs> <laughs> oh no it's not actually we're looking for the names of turner munro and hawkins lovely i'm not, so not ringing happy. a bell with you I'm so happy for those three guys <laughs> it's not it's not ringing a bell for her that's fine <laughs> <laughs> oh bless uh, i hope you're having fun who viewers because <laughs> we are <laughs> all right then we're, 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 another question for you now another question there for two points then who won the race in enlightenment <laughs> it, it's a very obvious answer Theodore G no oh no it's not Kirsty. it was actually the doctor oh well done yeah nice <laughs> okay then we're going to move on now to the ai pick okay the ai pick. now this the, now ai as it currently is now you, this is a, a doctor who story that we want you to identify but as i say ai as it currently is now can be a little bit groovy let's put it that way so i want you to have a look at this think about it and then answer okay um, and tell me what the name of the Doctor Who story is. Now, bear in mind on this particular round, this is worth five points. However, if you want a clue, you can say, can I have a clue? I will give you a clue, but you deduct a point. You can have up to four clues. Are you ready? Okay, have a look at this and think about what story. What story is this, Kirst? Have a think. And if you want a clue, let me know. It's currently worth five points. Do you want a clue? I've just put my eyes right in front of the screen, so I'm really sorry when people watch this. <laughs> uh, Do you want a clue? Uh, mm, yeah. The beginning. That's fourth points. Genesis of the Daleks? Well done, four points. That is Genesis of the Daleks. Well done, Kirst. Yes, four points to you. We'll put that down on there for you, but we will get that sorted. 
See, that's the beauty of AI. It's it's a bit weird, but when you think about it, it's actually really good as well. But that's coming up there. Okay, then. Now, uh, <clears throat> this might be a bit difficult for you. Yeah. <laughs> In time flight, which TARDIS component does the Doctor need from the Master for two points? Spark plug? <laughs> Good answer, but not the one we're looking for. <laughs> it was actually the temporal limiter. The temporal <laughs> limiter. <laughs> Spark plug? <laughs> it's not the Italian job we're looking at here, by the way. <laughs> It may have looked like a spark plug. <laughs> oh, bless you! No, know, it was the it was the temporal limiter. All right, here's, a, here's another one for two points. Who took over from Harriet Jones as the Prime Minister of Great Britain in the series? Harold Saxon. Well done. Yeah, Harold Saxon or the Master, I would have taken as well. Well done. That's two points. There you go. That's not bad. You, you're getting them in now. You're getting the groove of this now, aren't you? Well done. <laughs> okay, this is the guess who round. I want you to have a look at this picture and tell me who is this? I need the actress's name. It looks like Stephanie Beecham, but I know it's not her. Uh, is that Kate O'Mara? Like with her both on hair? Oh, no, it's not. But you're in the right vicinity in a sense. It's actually Rula Lenska. Shit, really? Okay. That's her. <laughs> yeah, that's Rula Lenska. And uh, absolutely gorgeous as well, wasn't she there? So, yeah, Rula Lenska. For a bonus point, though, for one point, what Doctor Who story was she in? A very good one. It was. I didn't know really we got, we got a title. <laughs> <laughs> it was a school day. <laughs> <laughs> All right, no problem. The story she was actually in, was a, it's a fifth Doctor story, Resurrection of the Daleks. Oh, okay. Yeah. So um, oh. at some point, we'll make you watch that one. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, okay, then. So staying with um, Resurrection of the Daleks, though, do you know who was the commander of the Dalek duplicates? Have a think. Who was the commander of the Dalek duplicates? Have a think. So from Resurrection of the Daleks, who was the commander of the Dalek duplicates? And that's for two points. My phone, a friend. No. Is it Cornel? I don't know. <laughs> no, you don't know. You haven't got an answer. No. <laughs> no. Okay. It was Commander Lytton. Okay. Okay. We're moving on now to your final bonus-themed question for three points in Captain, my Captain. <laughs> oh, bless you. What is the name of the captain who is in charge of the IMC? You can blame Ian for this later on, because <laughs> he chose these questions. <laughs> Sorry? Captain Birdseye. <laughs> Listen, it's always worth having a guess, because where the series is today, that could possibly be the answer. God loves a child. Absolutely. Um, but it's not. It's not. The answer we're looking for is Captain Dent. Okay, so you're, if anything, you're learning a lot here tonight, aren't you? <laughs> All right, now we're going to go to another AI pick. Okay, now this is worth currently um, five points. All right, so again, AI pick, have a look at this. Have a think about this. Uh, think, you know, just think about the stories it could be. All right, if you want a clue, you can ask me. Then don't forget, you get four clues, but a point deducted. At the moment, this is worth five points. So what is this story? It's currently worth five points. It's representing through AI a Doctor Who story. Let me know if you want a clue. Yes, please. It's a John Pertwee story. Can you blink twice if it's a season I've seen? <laughs> um, it's currently worth four points. Would you like another clue for three points? Uh, 
Yeah. Alternative dimension. Currently worth three points. I wish I had one of the box sets in front of me right now and I could and that's it. always <laughs> handy. Yeah. That's not allowed on this show. <laughs> Would you like a clue for two points? Yeah. Fine. World on fire. <clears throat> I'm gonna have to pass on that. No. No worries. Okay. Oh, what a shame. The story is actually called Inferno. <laughs> I'm getting away from explicit words coming out my mouth. <laughs> I'm so glad she didn't say anything there because you just know who viewers, what she wanted to do there. Don't you? And I'm so glad she didn't. Um, yeah, but the story's have Inferno. You can see it now, can't you? When you look yeah. at the graphic, you can see it. There it is there with the eye patch and everything like that. You can actually see it. But no, never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Okay. Um, your last question. This is question 15 for you. This is your last question for two points. The Sisters of Planitude, the Sisters of Planitude resemble which animal? The Sisters of Planitude resemble which animal? Cats. For two points, well done, Kirsty. Yes, I was wow. worried. Oh, for heaven's sake. <laughs> <laughs> Phew, she got that one. Yeah, we go. There you go. You've got through that. That wasn't bad, was it? That wasn't bad. That wasn't bad. Well done. First contestant here on Who's Master. Well done. Well done to you. That wasn't bad at all. Okay, let's uh, let's bring on the keeper of the scores to tell us what you got. Here's Bidwea. Bedway is back now with uh, the as the keeper of the scores. What? How did out of uh, out of the forty points there? How did she get on? Well, in fairness, Kirsty, you had a lot of really tough questions there. Yeah, uh, and I think <laughs> hopefully everyone playing along at home probably you know struggled on a few of them as well. But you Sweet. are the first player we've had, so you have got the record already at ten points. Oh, well done! Woo! Well done. <laughs> <laughs> that's not bad well done Kirst. that's absolutely fantastic i thought you got two but no that's that's brilliant <laughs> no well done you that's absolutely fantastic kicking kicking the show off with 10 points there absolutely wonderful well done you how do you feel about that relieved it's over <laughs> <laughs> well you never know it might not be because if third Dr. Ian comes on and gets 10 points as well, we're going to have to go to a tie break, which I'm dreading. So let's hope, let's hope one of you gets this. <laughs> Speaking of which, Bedwia, we're going to send you back into the Keeper of the Scores uh, room there, behind stage. Kirsty, stay with us because we're going to see you very shortly. Off we go again because now it's time to bring on Ian for the next round of Who's Master. I hope you're not cheating there. <laughs> I heard all those questions. My God, <laughs> the spark plug was genius. The spark um, plug, yeah, I, you know, definitely, yeah, and it, it should have been the right answer as well, isn't it? That's yeah. a very Terrence Sticks thing to do. <laughs> that, that second day, I, I, I was thinking pirate planet, planet patch on the eye, and then you said John Pertwee. I was like, stuff that. I have no idea. Oh, <laughs> and you're a third Doctor fan. I know. I know. I have no excuses. It's a bit concerning. <laughs> well, listen, same for yourself. You have got 15 pictures coming up. You won the toss, as we said at the beginning of the show. So you chose selection uh, number one of the questions. You've also uh, chosen to go second. That's why you're here now. And you chose the bonus theme questions of the Time Lords of Gallifrey, which are worth three points. So third, Dr. Ian, are you ready? Probably. Because <laughs> we're going to go ahead. Here's your first question. Who are the Sontaran's mortal enemies? The Rutans. That's for two points. Okay, now another two points. What is the name of the hospital the doctor is admitted to in Spearhead from Space? Ashbridge Cottage Hospital. 
Oh, well done. Hospital. Yeah. Hospital. <laughs> <laughs> yes, for two points. I'll get back on the gin, shall I? <laughs> <laughs> okay, then. Your first bonus theme question coming up for three points from the Time Lords of Gallifrey. Name the president that was once the doctor's teacher. Oh, um, that, that was uh, that was Barusa. Yeah, for three points. Well done. Okay. Question four for you. For two points, what is the name of Grace Holloway's boyfriend? Oh, God. I don't know. I'm going to say Doug. That's a guess. So what did you say there? I'm going to say Doug. That's a guess. <laughs> no, it's wrong. It was Brian. 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 Yeah, good old Brian. Yeah. Brian. <laughs> All right, then. Um, how you found it so far? Yeah, good. Great fun. Great fun. <laughs> brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. So uh, tell us a bit about yourself, actually, at, at this point. Well, I'll just give you a, a little bit of a break. Because you're, you're in the, the, what is it? Is it classed as the northwest of England? North Yorkshire. Yeah, yeah, so north, north, northeast, that that kind of thing. Yeah, that's 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 me. Very uh, good. Been, been a Who fan for a couple of years, proper Who fan. Um, by that I mean proper Doctor Who, not I'm better than anybody else. Um, <laughs> yeah, um, remember back to episode six of Frontier in Space, is as far back as I can remember. Uh, the Daleks appearing on the ridge. In in my memory, there was hundreds of them. In reality, there was two. <laughs> um, <laughs> Favorite doctor, obviously John Pertwee, um, but yeah, yeah, bit dis bit sad about how it all is now, but mm -hmm. um, yeah, yeah. Vaughn's got the can't take the classic from us, can they? Absolutely yeah. not, absolutely not. Well, but uh, yeah, talking of classics, you've got a picture a picture around now, and I want you to tell me who is this? Is that Nicholas Parsons? Oh, well done. Yes, it is. It's Nicholas Parsons for two points. For a bonus point, though, Ian, for a bonus one point, what story was he in? Curse of Fenric. Yeah, absolutely. The Curse of Fenric. We're going to stay with the Curse of Fenric for two points here. What is Ace's mum's name? Dorothy. In the Curse. In, sorry? Dorothy. No. No, oh. no, no, it's Ace's mum's name we want, not Ace's name. So, no, it's not. Oh, it's actually, oh, up. <laughs> it's actually Audrey. <laughs> so, you don't get anything for that one. But never mind, eh? Yeah. Never no, mind, no. Never mind <laughs> Audrey. You'll never forget that one ever again. <laughs> I won't. No, no. Okay, then. Another bonus theme question from you from the Time Lords of Gallifrey for you. Who was exiled from Gallifrey for experimenting on mice? Turning them into monsters who then ate the president's cat. Um, I hope you're not going to ask me to read that out again because I really don't want to. <laughs> but I can for you. Who was exiled from Gallifrey for experimenting on mice, turning them into monsters who then ate the president's cat? Uh, and this is for part of your bonus questions for the Time Lords of Gallifrey. Okay, if I need an answer. I, I will have to pass on that one. I cannot remember. No problem. I, remember, but I can't remember. <laughs> it was the Rani. The Rani. The Rani, yes. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Never mind at all. Now, it's now time for your AI pitch around. Like in the last uh, uh, with, with Kirsty, you're going to get a AI depiction of a Doctor Who story. Five points are at stake here. If you want a clue, you get a point deducted for each clue. Are you ready for this? Okay. What is this Doctor Who story? Oh. Let me know if he needs a clue. It's currently uh, worth five points. Okay, I'll have a clue. Patrick Troughton. Yes, 
You see, I want to say the moon base for obvious reasons, but I'm going to say the moon base. Well done, four points. <laughs> I thought I was going to get horribly tripped up there. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're not doing trick questions on this. It's all for fun. <laughs> it's all for fun. <laughs> going back to two points, speaking about all for fun, who directed The Leisure Hive? Oh, that was... Um... This is for two points. And who directed The Leisure Hive? I need an answer. Tip of my tongue and I can't give you one. And it's going to make me kick myself. Sorry. Oh, it was Love It Bickford. Oh. Of course, on his one and only yeah, Doctor Who story. Yeah. yeah. Uh, for two points then, who conditioned River Song to kill the Doctor? Oh, it was Eye Patch Woman, wasn't it? And... <laughs> eye, patch, well, back, eye patches it's going to be a thing on this show i can tell yeah, yeah. <laughs> who, who um, conditioned river song to kill the doctor for two points <laughs> i can't remember a name I, I i'll know i will not remember a name no a name. no sorry <sighs> no no worries it was madame Kavarian, and i would have also have accepted the silence because right. they were all together in that, weren't they, really? Um, so, yeah, I would have accepted that. But never mind, you got it wrong. So... <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, right, now, yes, this is for another two points. And this is Guess Who? I want you to have a look at this and tell me who this is. That's Billy Piper. Oh, yeah, of course it is. It's Billy Piper. Look at that. There she is. Hello, Billy. Yeah, Billy Piper. Staying with Billy Piper for another two points, which London housing estate did Rose Tyler live at? Yeah, this is for two points. Yeah. At which London housing estate did Rose Tyler live at? I'm going to need an answer, Ian. You know, when you get those blanks, I've got another one. <laughs> um, I'm going to kill nope. myself. And I'm going to be bruised, but no, sorry, it's gone. It was the Powell Housing Estate. Yeah, it's the Powell Housing Estate. There you go. Okay, the last of your bonus theme questions from the Time Lords of Gallifrey. What was the name of the Time Lady befriended on Gallifrey by Leela? Rodan. Oh, well done. Three points, three points, three points. Okay, now we're going to your final AI picture. Which Doctor Who story is this? Again, five points. Okay, if you want a clue, tell me, but it goes down four, et cetera, et cetera. But at the moment, this is for five points. Name the Doctor Who story. For five points, what's the Doctor Who story? Let me know if you need a clue. Do you need a clue? Is it, oh. is it, I'm, I'm going to make a guess. Go on, make a guess. Myself. I'm going to say Frontios. Oh, well done. Five points. Yep. That's Frontios as according to AI. It's it's clever stuff, that isn't it? I can see it becoming a bit of a nuisance, to be quite yeah, honest. <laughs> All right, then. Well done, though. That is five points to you. And finally, your final question. Woo, doesn't it go quickly, who viewers? But here's the final question for two points. In which two years does the Doxa encounter two versions of the Brigadier? I need the years. So in which two years does the Doctor encounter two versions of the Brigadier. 1977 and 1983. Well done. That's worth two points. There you go. That's the end of your round there. You can breathe again. You can breathe again. Let's <laughs> bring <was> on. <laughs> it wasn't too bad, was it? No, that was fun. <laughs> it was fun. Oh, good. I'm pleased you said that. Let's bring on the Keeper of the Scores, Bidwia, to tell us what you got.
Here he is. But we are then how did third Dr. Ian do on his round? Uh, very impressively. I had to go, I had to, you know, break out more than my fingers and thumbs. I had to take my socks off and everything. Apparently he's <laughs> <Okay>. up. <laughs> uh, but yeah, no, Ian did brilliantly. Third Dr. Ian got a total of 26. Oh, well done. Well done. Well done. Well done. Well done. 26. How do you feel about that, Third Dr. Ian? Relieved that I didn't humiliate myself too much. <laughs> <laughs> no, you didn't. Let's bring Kirsty back on as well. Kirsty, hello. Oh, there you go. Hello. Well done. Well done. Well done. Yes. As I say, though, well done to you too, Kirsty. It's all yeah. for fun. Yeah. It's all for fun, you two. But well done. But yeah, congratulations to Ian, who's won the first edition of Who's Master there. And uh, Kirsty has come second. <laughs> and, and we're going to get. But you did have some tough questions there, lady, I have to say. You know, and that's that's his fault for choosing to, the question he did. Because <laughs> you would have, I bet, I bet you, you could have known some of the ones Ian got there. I got, I'd be screaming at my screen, the power of the state there. <laughs> <laughs> got those. And the Billy Piper one and everything like that, you would have got those as well, wouldn't you? But that's the nature of the draw there. That's the nature of the draw. So, uh, uh, Bedwia, so um, Ian got 26, Kirsty got 10, yep. Yep, that's correct. So our, our two... Uh early scores on on who's master yeah we shall put those onto our scoreboard and that's a brilliant way to tell you right now what did you think about this did you enjoy this version of who's master our brand new quiz here on whose views and more importantly would you like to have a go yourselves yeah. if you are interested in coming on to the show and doing this it's very easy because you could be the whose views Who's Master? All you have to do is email us at whoseviews1 at gmail.com. Tell us a little bit about yourself. What versions of the Doctor you like? And of course, where in the world you are, very important for us. And just email us and we will do the rest. Whoseviews1 at gmail.com. And who knows, if we get some of you actually getting in touch with us, you might be here playing the game. That would be exciting, wouldn't it, Bedwia? Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. Listen, again, thank you so much to Third Doctor Ian and to Kirsty for playing this. I'm so I'm so pleased you had a bit of a laugh there and so pleased you, you, you did so well. So thank you so much for coming on and testing it out with us. Thank you. Thanks for having us. Oh, no, it's delighted. And obviously, we will be seeing these two at some point on the Hootastic panel on all the, all the other shows. Bedwia, the keeper of the scores, thank you so much for joining us as well and doing all the maths. You are very welcome, very welcome. I'll, uh, yeah, pencil this in as a regular occurrence. All we need is the players. So if you think you can do better, then Kirsty and Ian, drop us an email. Oh, let's see what comes through. Yeah. Looking forward to hearing from you all who views. Let us know what you think about the com in the comments. Do come on to the show. Come and give us an email. And, of course, yeah, don't forget to do all the usual stuff that Kirsty's always telling me that I have to say. Like the video. Share the video. And please, of course, also subscribe to the channel from all of us here thank you so much for joining us i hope you've enjoyed it um and yes we will be seeing you again very soon here on the channel until we do bye bye say bye bye everybody bye, bye. everybody bye. Bye, everyone <laughs>